I got something I'm going to read here. So. Okay. This episode is brought to you by Steady Focused Classic Snapback Hats, available at SteadyFocused.com. Guys, there's four different variants to choose from. Represent, show your support, and let the world know you are Steady Focused and how just true it is that the Steady Focused hats were inspired by this man right here. And so this episode is also brought to you by the adventure outdoor lifestyle brand Andy B Apparel. They make freaking awesome hats. I love their hats. I love the colors. I love the designs, the Instagram feed. And I'm honored that we have the creator of Andy B Apparel with us on the show today. So guys, please make sure you show some love and go pick up a hat at andybapparel.com. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls around the world, welcome back to another episode of Steady Focused. I'm your host. I'm your number one, Mr. Simeon Hendricks. And guys, I'm honored for this interview. Hmm. I'm telling you, this dude right here. Wow. This dude. Right. Uh, words that I would use to describe this man. An inspiration. Powerful work ethic. Consistent. Calm. Humble. Determined. Intelligent. Stern. Intimidating. Hmm. You do intimidate me. I've been intimidated by you. Really? Yes. No way. Loving, father, steady focused. Dude, mm. I mean, if I think of one person that truly is the epitome of steady focused, mm. I think it's you. I a great friend. Yeah. Let, me, let me keep going. Okay. <laughs> a great friend, a great leader, a pillar, mm. ultra creative, master designer, dedicated to his family. Mm. And let's not forget impeccably dressed <laughs> i want to make sure i had to throw that in there yeah you got you had to throw it in there <laughs> those are some of the nicest words that yeah that i've ever heard someone say about me well and uh and you know uh our friendship has has uh has uh, been for a while um but wow that was that was amazing so thank you for saying that dude it's i uh, see a lot of those same qualities in you so mm. yeah man that's just uh well i've been brainstorming about this you know i've i've got a lot of different topics i want to cover with you but mm -hmm. looking back and as my development as a photographer and videographer mm -hmm. when i really thought i didn't know what i was doing mm -hmm. and and i, I how i respected you right. right and i looked up to you and i would bring a photo to you knowing how I would beat myself down about it. And then I'd show you and you would just be like, dude, that's so great, Simeon, you mm -hmm. got it, man. And <laughs> just the encouragement that you gave me and the belief, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, that's awesome. So thank you for that, yeah, man. Yeah, thank you, yeah. And then, Very good. you know, man, my eyes are getting teary. <laughs> I'm here. telling you, dude, it's, <laughs> we can go deep on some, there, it's been a minute, you know, so yeah. I've been, Hey, we're at Hager Communications right. right now. This is where it started for you and I. Right. What was it like, I don't know, five or six years ago? Mm -hmm. It would be five years in, in June. Okay. Yep. That's when I met you. Yeah. And uh, so it was, I was working for Jackie uh -huh. and then we needed another graphic artist. Right. And I remember my, my quote uh, that I told Jackie, I was like, listen, whoever we bring in, mm -hmm. I want him to be a monster. Mm -hmm. And she said, Simeon, I've got the monster. Wow. And it was you, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. So just what happened with, uh, how did you get to which, how did you get back to Wichita Falls? Okay. Um, so I uh, went to Tuck, uh, graduated with a visual studies degree. Um, I was planning on teaching art to children. Um, and then found myself, um, um, wanting to get into the design world in some sort of way. Um, I didn't, I took one graphic design class in college. I, um, uh, but I applied for this job in Fort Worth and it was to design country western clothes um, for this company called Paint Handle Slim. And so that's kind of where the journey of designing clothing, graphics all started. Um, I, um, I had a girlfriend that also moved to Fort Worth that I had met at Tuck and obviously we eventually got married, started to have a family and realized that, you know, uh, 
we started in Wichita Falls, our families in Wichita Falls, and although our jobs were great in Fort Worth and we loved what we were doing, um, you know, family, families, everything. Mm -hmm. And we both wanted our kids to grow up, you know, next to their grandparents and, and have that joy. And so, so yeah, we made it back to Wichita. I was applied at Hager Communication, met you guys, and uh, yeah, it's all, it's all good. And so you you became the lead graphic artist mm -hmm. at Hager Communications. Mm -hmm. You've been here, like you said, five years in June. Yep. And what is Hager Communications? And mm. and what have what do you feel like you've helped build here? Okay. Um, what is Hager Communications? Obviously, we're a marketing company. Okay. But we're a family. Um, whether you're currently working for Hager or you're, you're outside working for Hager. Um, we are a family, and uh, and Jackie believes in a strong work ethic, and I do the same. Mm -hmm. um, we pick each other up, we we get it done, and we and we work hard. We do it. We get it done. You guys do work hard. Yeah. And I till about what four months ago I was working hard with <laughs> you guys, right. and now I'm my day job, my main job is at the hospital. Mm -hmm. You know, working there. Sure. Uh, but absolutely, you know, integrity mm -hmm. is a huge part of Hager. Definitely. Working hard. Working hard. Yeah. Yeah, putting in the work. Putting in the work. You don't grow as an artist unless you, you're you willing to sacrifice and go through those stressful times and, and push yourself. Because if everything's easy, then you're not growing. Mm. You know, you're not stretching yourself. That's great, dude. Mm -hmm. What does it feel like to create? Mm. I was thinking about. I thought this question might come up. And oh, I was cool. thinking about it last night. And I was okay. Like, you know what does it mean for me to create? And and, and I think for me, um, I find enjoyment in creating things that other people enjoy. You know, it's like um, whether it's designing a hat for uh, my personal projects or designing a logo, um, people, people always seem to be amazed by creative people. You know, they, they um, which I think everyone can be creative, um, but uh, just, just the happiness and joy that art and, um, or, you know, just art, whatever, you can edit yeah, this. Yeah, art, no, it's <laughs> I love Are you it. gonna edit this? Probably not. Go really? <laughs> yeah, this is this is it. You get one shot, one oh, take. No, no. <laughs> this is the real deal. Oh man, uh, I, you know I just think art is an amazing thing, and it brings so much joy to people's lives. You know. Mm -hmm. So, talk about uh, what is the value of a routine hmm. for you. I think that is something that is ingrained into your, your being, your yeah. DNA is, yeah. is a routine. It is. Uh, you know, my, my wife will, will say that it uh, can be a little OCD at some, sometimes. Okay. Um, but for me, it's, it's, uh, it's normal. You know, I, I'm waking up in the morning. I'm, you know, spending time. Um, with my devotional and the Lord and and I find that kind of structured out pattern that you know that I know what I'm going to do each day to be comforting to me mm -hmm. you know I don't I don't obviously there's times that that you can't be so structured and that's okay you know but um, I don't know it just gives me boundaries and and I like that I like that for myself so. You're you're an avid runner. Mm -hmm. You know, it's uh, something you do every yeah. day. Yeah. What does it feel like when you're in the zone hmm. and you're you know you're not starting, you're not finishing, but you're mm -hmm. you're in the middle of it. Freedom. Did Freedom. Yeah. It's good. I have nothing to worry about, but but going down this path and uh, challenging myself, stretching myself, and and um, you know. It's total freedom for me. It's good. It's good for the soul. It is, dude. Yeah. Uh, and that's what I'm saying. Like you're, you're, you are consistent, dude. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, 
And that, that's a quality I admire in you. Thank you. You know, absolutely. Mm -hmm. We were talking about with Andy B. Apparel, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, it started mm -hmm. and then you were going bow ties. Yeah. Um, and you were doing hats at the same time. Sure. And then you start having more kids, <laughs> right. more daughters. <laughs> Three. <laughs> working your way up. Right. And then so it kind of took a little break. Mm -hmm. And then little by little, mm -hmm. Andy B. Apparel has come back. You yeah. know, and now... I think we're about a year into the resurgence of Andy B. Apparel. Is that right. about right? Yes. Yeah. And man, I just I re am inspired by that, and it's mm -hmm. something that I've been writing a lot about, and I'm I'm kind of grouping it as slow drip dedication. Okay. You know, and consistency to to a an end goal. Uh huh. You know, because it's it could be real easy to say, oh man, I don't have time for that. You right. know, I or I got to be a million percent overboard mm -hmm. drive myself crazy to get to a goal mm -hmm. um but through you i see hey it's it's let's talk about the long game i right. mean you know the long game and just putting a little bit of water a little bit of water mm -hmm. and next thing you look back and you're two seasons into your hats which yeah. i i love that you got the seasons yeah. you know your two series is two series in on the new mm -hmm. uh, and I mean, how does it feel when a new hat comes out for you? It feels good. I mean, I don't, I don't put a lot of pressure on myself to, to like make this into um, some monster thing. I I create hats because I enjoy it, and I enjoy that people enjoy them. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and I think that um, you know, in some cases, you can create a small business that explodes overnight. Um, but that's not my goal. My goal is to keep making hats, keep making cool things, and 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 enjoying, mm -hmm. you know, that process of doing that. Yeah. Um, I know you were, had mentioned my Instagram, which my wife Casey runs, but it's like, you know, nowadays, like on my Instagram feed, I'll open it up and there's 50 things that I don't care about. Mm -hmm. You know, there's yeah. so much fluff and so much, there's so many distractions that are like constantly within that feed, Yeah, you know, and I choose just to, just to kind of, and Casey as well, just to kind of sprinkle it out there and say, hey, what's up? We got a, we got a new hat that just dropped. Yeah. If you like it, go, go pick it up, you know. Because so. this is, for a lot of people listening, a lot of people watching, mm -hmm. It might be crazy, but you are pretty much, I mean, for the most part, you're anti-social media. I uh -huh. mean, you're, you're really disconnected from it. Right. And that's, uh, other than, like you said, Casey, your wife helps you with the Instagram. But other than that, yeah, you don't have a, a social <laughs> uh, profile that you push out there. Yeah. Does that shock people when they, when you tell, or do they just kind of used to it by now? Or I don't know. You know, I think, I think people here are kind of shocked by it because that's the business that we're in you know that's mm -hmm. a part of what we do each day but i think I it, it, it is a crazy thing in 2018 and yeah. you are a creative you know mm -hmm. like you're you're in the world but you're just you yeah. know i don't know yeah it, it's uh maybe that's a reason do you feel at peace do you feel i do it? feel at peace yeah you know i think uh i think the you know the the world does have a lot of distractions and i think that can kind of I can eventually kind of mess with your mind a little bit, you know, and if you just stay focused in on on what's around you, the people that you find um, important in your life to you, your friends, your um, your work, the activities that you like doing, I just think it 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 really helps with just being in tune with yourself, you know. Yeah. Let's talk about reputation. Hmm. Why is that important? Reputation. You tell me about reputation. Well, I think it's something that means a lot to you. Okay. I think, uh, I think there's things that you would kind of let slide, you know, like, hey, it'll be okay. But if it, mm -hmm. if it comes to, I, I, I just think it's something that means a lot. And mm. I, to, to me personally, like if you're mm. going to ask me, like, turn it on me, what yeah. I think it's important because 
uh, I guess it's it's what we got. Mm-hmm. You know, it it boils down to what is how are my children going to view me? How mm-hmm. are they going to be viewed? Yeah. Um, will I get new business? Mm-hmm. Um, what are people? I mean, I know I guess people are going to talk negative or positive regardless, but um, what's the reputation? I I think it it would be looking myself in the mirror and being okay with who I am. Mm-hmm. I think reputation is a um, kind of a strange word because it's almost like, um, you know, you want to present a character that um, isn't, you know, you want to be open with people, you want to be nice with people, you want to, um, you know, I don't think that I, like, try to put myself out there as like, I don't know, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I just don't, um, you know, I don't know. Yeah. That's a weird question. To yeah. Me. I, I, ju- I was thinking about it, you know, like just being in on the team with you and there would be things like, like if as you, I'd see you as the leader, uh-huh. like, you know, if, if, if someone on the team was kind of coming up short or whatever, of course you coach them up. You uh-huh. know, we love them. Yeah. But then there's times where it's like, okay, but if someone's dropping the ball, okay, let's get through it. But if they're dropping the ball in a way where it's it's just putting a negative, like, dude, you're misrepresenting us. Like, mm-hmm. that. that's when I would see you, like, really kind of put your foot down. Mm-hmm. So, Well, Hager is important to me, and I think it's um, – you know, we, we need to uh, be have a consistent effort to uh, be there for our clients, to uh, try to do the best work that we can for our clients. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, um, I just think there's a standard. Yeah. You know? Yes. And, and I think you... you I think you're a big part of pulling people up to meet your standard. Hmm. You know, I mm-hmm. think that's, uh, it's like when I was on the team, you know, like I want to, I'm like, okay, well, shit, I got to make this meet Andrew's level. You know, like right. I got, that reminds me of something else that I, we're, we're coming up, we're learning, you know, we're growing together. Sure. And there was a conversation with a client and there was, you, there was going back and forth, back and forth and getting the client what they wanted Uh you know and it it kind of got to a point and i don't know if you actually said this direct to the client or you were talking to me but it was kind of like listen i can do anything Uh you know i i can give anything but i you know i just need to understand what you want right so i can deliver it right and i remember thinking like it, it was like an instant all these thoughts went through my head was like dang i don't believe i can do anything hmm and just your confidence yeah. in, and I was like, man, okay. You know, it just kind of opened the possi- the realm of possibility. Like, mm-hmm. wow, you know, Andrew can do anything. Well, I... <laughs> and, you know, and it, it's just your the belief in yourself that, mm-hmm. listen, you know, I, I can do this. Yeah. And it encouraged me to, like, well, maybe I'm selling myself short. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, even in the moment, if you don't think that you are capable of doing something, you're smart enough, you're intelligent enough to figure it out, mm. you know? So what do you say to somebody who wants to be in your shoes? You know, somebody who is wanting to be a professional creative, uh-huh. you know, they want to make a living doing this. Maybe uh-huh. maybe they're wanting to do freelance or uh-huh. maybe they just want to go f- full time with it, but they're like, mm, I don't know what, what to do. Push your, Push yourself to learn. Spend time on your craft. Don't don't give up. Research, research, research. Trends, trends, trends. Um, put in the work. Nobody's gonna give it to you. Mm. The person over there is working twice as hard as you. Mm. You know, they're gonna put in the work. You know. I love it, dude. <laughs> I love it in your eye, dude. Like this, the seriousness. <laughs> yeah. I love it because you believe what you're saying. Yeah. And uh, I, you are a teacher. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I you graduated as a teacher mm-hmm. and you moved into this realm. But, I, and I, I think I said it in here. I don't know if I said, but 
Definitely. Do I think of you as a mentor? For sure, dude. Even now, you know, I think about like, okay, how would Andrew approach this? What would Andrew do in this situation? How would he overcome these roadblocks? Yeah. We got Trisha. She's (laughs) walking by. Jackie's not here, but there's Trisha. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. That is so sweet. Yeah, it's good. It is good. Let's see what else we got in here. How are we doing on time? We're we're 20 minutes. We got we're we're good on time. Let's see. Uh, let's talk about the name the captain. Oh yeah. yeah. The hats? Oh yeah. We we've definitely been talking well, about the hat. Get online. Call me. This is my soapbox. Yeah, yeah. He are gonna have to edit this oh, now. That's Trisha. <laughs> She's going crazy. But yes, andybapparel.com. Guys, yeah. check it out. It, you can you can check out the new. I think we're around spring 2018. We're spring. We're almost out of spring. So yeah. I'm moving on to summer. I only only make so many of the hats. So yeah, they're limited edition. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Our, well, well, let's come back to the captain. But going on with this, are you gonna? What's next for Andy B? I mean, obviously we got summer 2018, but. Uh-huh. Are, are we going to see little kind of trinkets to go with it? You know, like whether it be a magnet or a pin or uh-huh. or a pat, you know, like what's next? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm so like just free down this road that um, I'm just going to let it happen. Mm-hmm. Whatever comes of it. If I feel like doing shirts and I'm going to try to do some do some sh- shirts, you know, I'm, uh, I, um, I love what. Catherine does over at Little H Creative. You know, I love her inspiration, her shirts, and what they do over there. So, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, turn that. Green Bay. No, I was turning so the I camera could see it a little better. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Bell, what would you do if a headline came out uh-huh. tomorrow morning? Uh huh. Came over your phone, or somehow you got the message. Yeah. Football is over. <laughs> Football. It was a good run. I don't know. No more football. That would be so strange, <laughs> wouldn't it? If they just said, hey, this isn't about a medical issue. This uh-huh. isn't a concern of safety, but we're just like, it, it was a yeah. good run. I think it would be really sad. <laughs> I would be really sad, I think. I think Because really, be that's the only thing that I find myself watching on TV. Yeah. Is football season, I'm, I'm in it. But other than that, you know, I don't find myself, uh, you know, checking out shows or anything like that. Yeah. So it was. That'd be sad, sad. It day. would be sad, yeah. Because yeah. like, you're a fantasy football, yeah, freak, yeah, right. You I love like it fantasy. to the extreme, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't like this. Oh, oh, and Green Bay, of course, is my team, yeah. but Cowboys are your all team. All the Cowboys, all yeah. the way. Yeah. Well, it's good that Green Bay ended up on top for for a change, because in the '90s mm-hmm. we definitely were not on top. Yeah. But I love that Green Bay Cup. I know you do. I'm thinking yeah. about knocking it off. <laughs> <laughs> so it was maybe what I guess four years ago the Nighthawks were in town. Yeah, they were here in Wichita Falls. Yep. and you and I had a show called oh, Beyond the, the Yards. Yard. So good. It was. It was great. It was good. It the was, first couple of episodes were a little rough. Yeah, but we found our groove. We did, and we we mastered our. It groove. was man. It, it was, was a lot of fun. It was, it was good. We did it, man. You had your brother Scott. Yes. Yeah, and he was killing it. Interview editing and all that Interviewing stuff. people across the country. Yeah. yeah. What, was that the first time you called yourself captain, or had you been calling yourself captain before then? I think you started calling me no, captain. No, no. Yes, you you did. gave your, <laughs> did, Is that really where captain came from? I think it, so. In your brain, in all honesty. Yes, all honesty, you made that up. I firmly I don't believe think that. So. I don't think so. Okay. Well, if even if it was. So, before that time, uh-huh. had you ever referred to yourself as Captain? No. Really? <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. I thought it was just a joke. That, okay. That, uh, that wasn't going to stick. The Captain. <laughs> the Mr. Andrew Bell. <laughs> yeah. That was good. Oh. And then so it has just stuck. But it fits you, right? Now, you ended up keep holding on to it. You put it on your business cards. Up as, your a hair. Joke. <laughs> as a joke. As a joke. But... I think there's some seriousness to it. Do it, you? It, I, you tell me, is it totally a joke or do you, does it somehow do something to you like where you got to elevate yourself that much more because you're, you're putting yourself on that level and you're like, hey man, I got to, I got to hold the line uh-huh. and, and live up to being the captain. I don't does, know. I've never thought it? it. No, I've never thought about okay. that. Okay. It's funny though, when, 
you know, like one of our clients will email back and mm. call me the captain. Hello, captain. I'm right yeah. here. Yes, sir. I'll get you that information. Yeah. And you're just laughing. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's a good joke. It is a good joke. <laughs> well, I, and that makes me feel good that it came up, whether I started or you started, yeah. but it came from that, <laughs> yeah. that nucleus yeah. in that room. For sure. Man, let's see. What we got? We talked about the advice. Did we talk about when you were at Texas Tech and you're one? You, you talked about you went to Texas Tech, graphic yeah. design. Uh-huh. And if, I, you kind of glossed over, but, I mean, as a graphic designer, you're mm-hmm. making artwork and posters and logos and magazine designs. They're literally all across the nation. Mm-hmm. Um, you created, I mean, the Urban Air logo, you know, yeah. uh, Urban Irby. Or mascot. The mascot. Thank yeah. you for the correction. The, yeah. the mascot. Man, we've yeah. traveled all around. We were in San Antonio with the kids, and there's the plush toy. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, I know the guy who made that. So, yeah. I mean, you, you've had great success as a graphic artist. Mm-hmm in the commercial world, no doubt about it. Hmm. Even with, with Panhandle Slim, you're making the designs that are on the shirts that are going across the country. Right. And you took one class at Texas Tech for graphic design. Yeah. And what happened? I failed it. Only only class I've ever failed. Yeah. It's crazy. That That is just, it's like you, it's a stranger than fiction. Yeah, stranger than fiction. Yeah. What, what happened? I don't know, you know, uh, the reason that I had failed was because, you know, I, I used to finish my projects pretty early. It was a three hour class. And so I felt like it was time for me to go home. Yeah. Um, but also, you know, I was young, you know, that, that probably, that wasn't the smartest thing to do. Yeah. Obviously I should have, uh, you know, kept teaching myself other played the game, played the game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was that was funny. I, so yeah, when I when I graduated, I was this kind of a novice graphic designer, and the first that first job that I got, it you know, I had to quickly teach myself yeah. to bring my skill up to par, and do and you know push out designs in a quick manner and be sufficient, and so. Um, yeah, it was it was a tough time, mm. but got that, through it. You got it's through good. it, and now you're on top of it. And you, and you are fast. Yeah. I mean, that's it makes I could see it that they, you got in trouble because you were too fast. Because mm-hmm. you're just fast. I mean, you are fast, man. Uh, I, I that that's kind of all I got. I mean, I just best advice you ever received or a mantra that you tell yourself, you know, something that, that you tell yourself during times of, of stress or something like that? Hmm. Uh, so my dad always tells me, um, uh, and this kind of goes back to maybe reading a story to your kid at night or whatever, but it's also a life lesson, is to, to never skip, skip the pages because that, it goes by so fast. Mm. Um, whether that's your child growing up, whether that's the time that we have together, but focus in on the moment, enjoy that moment, enjoy the people that you come across and don't skip the pages. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That is good, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna leave it there. Is there anything else you wanna say? The, no, the floor I, is yours. I mean, thanks for having me, Simeon. Yeah. Obviously, I love you like a brother. Um, I'm, I'm proud of what you're doing Steady focus is awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, love it, man. So, guys, we got right here Mr. Andrew Bell. I'm telling you, andybapparel.com. Check it out. Get yourself a new hat. He was the inspiration for the steady focused hats. He is a huge inspiration to me. So, I just, yeah, check him out, guys. You're going to love it. Follow him on Instagram, even though he's saying his wife's running it. You got to have a team. <laughs> You got to have a team. So, but yeah, they're, they're coming out. We got to pick up a steady focused hat. Yeah. You know, yeah. th- those are going strong and guys, it's, it's just great to be back. It's been a few weeks off, just taking care of some, taking a step back to reevaluate my life mm-hmm. and uh, reevaluate my, my food intake. Thankful to God, you know, I've had a epiphany with that, you know, so it's, it's just great. And and just enjoying life. So I'm thankful to be here. I'm really glad to be sitting down with Andrew Bell. Yeah. And 
guys, I think we're just going to call it a show. So until next time, I'm your host. I'm your number one, Mr. Simeon Hendricks. And this is <laughs> Steady Focused. Yeah, that was good, man. Thank you. Enjoyed Andrew. it. That yeah, was that was really good. Yeah. Are, is, are you going to do, uh, when the next hats come out or when summer 2018 comes, mm -hmm. are you going to change the hat again? Do you know? Are you going to keep with that style? The rope hat? Yeah. I think the rope hat was the most popular. It went good? Yeah. Okay. But I think I still need to kind of sprinkle in some of those traditional. Yes. Because some of the, like, some of my friends that are 6'3 and stuff like that, mm -hmm. you know, they're like, the other style of hat works oh, it better. Oh, fits better. Yeah. On a giant's head. On a yeah, giant's head. On a head. freak. You're like, oh, okay, hey, <laughs> let me, or hey, can, can you give me another one of those freak hats? <laughs> All right, we're done. Awesome. <laughs>